I did not know a lot about this when I started it. I knew as much, if less, than the kids did. And so I wasn't up teaching all this. I introduced it, I threw it out there, and we all just shared in, in knowing what to do. Three or four kids just globbed onto it and they took it further, and then they would show us, and we always worked in teams. So the, the kids were just really excited about it. I mean, I didn't have to know any of this technology, and I didn't. I just learned it with the kids, and that's what was so wonderful about it. STEM is the, what I mean is, it's when you take science, technology, engineering, and math and do it sort of all in one setting. And here with the Makey Makey, we're doing that. In fact, we're throwing in the arts because these students are making music in addition to designing and using technology and then learning about math and the frequencies associated with sound. When we started, we told the kids, we're gonna try it. We don't know how it's gonna end up. We don't know what we're gonna learn along the way. And hopefully in the end, we come out with something amazing, but we always kind of start by telling them it's something new when it's just an experiment. And the point is not necessarily what do you end up with, but the point is more the journey along the way. What kind of things do you learn you know, in the process of making it work. It's getting them to think outside the box of how art is used and what design is from my perspective. And in combining the three, we're getting them all integrated so they realize that art and technology are combined together. Music and technology, I think that's more obvious than art and technology. So this is kind of opening their minds to some new ways to use things. So the art teacher didn't just hand them a project and say, here, this is what you're gonna do. They all came up with these cool ideas. How can they make this work? And we're kind of doing that in music too. They made up music for some games that they programmed. They're actually learning programming along with it. Um, and then in music class, we're trying to take that creativity and sort of shrink it down a little bit to something that actually works and can make a real piece of composable music. They get an introduction to a computer, so they're basically coding, they're scripting, they're, they're using if-then block, they're controlling objects around green. So ideally, it's a, it's a first introduction for the whole class to make a game and therefore learn about coding, scripting, computing. Aesthetics is very important to me. And I think it's um, what the design process is, whether you're in engineering or you're an artist, a musician, it's what we do. And it's really cool to like take scientists and artists and put them in the same room and just sort of like, oh yeah, we do that. Oh yeah, we do that. And what's the difference? It, to me, it's really the same. Well, a Makey Makey is a little device about like that big. You hook it up to your computer and it has like the keys of like your arrow keys and click and space to space. And so what you can do is hook it up to ordinary things. Like we're, we're hooking up to like apples and bananas and oranges and plugging it into your computer because all you need to do is put like plug in your USB. You can touch that and it will play something else on your computer. Computer. North Dakota Council on the Arts believes that all students deserve a full and complete education. That includes the arts. That means that we like to take the STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math and include the arts to make it STEAM. We believe that the arts just give it the energy, the excitement that kids and adults enjoy. I made a home run derby and I made it on a website called Scratch and it's kind of like a beginner coding website. It's kind of like the basics. So when you press play, there's a pitcher, and you press space to swing. And what I did is I hooked up a baseball or a baseball bat. You could hook it up, and then whenever you press it, it swing. And you need to be touching the earth, which is the green. So they touch this, which is, I'd call it the glove, since you're playing baseball. You touch the glove, and then you touch the baseball or the baseball bat to swing. And then you can hit home runs, triples, doubles, and all that. You had to make it on Scratch. Uh, that's what we're on right now. And it's just a game site to do scripting. That's what we were learning was scripting. The whole um, thing that we were learning about for this is sound and energy. It's always fun to explore the new things that you can play with them. Some of my kids were real hesitant about using it, and they were real tentative about trying things. Once the art teacher started making instruments, it kind of loosened them up a little bit. They were more creative. And the music teacher got them to write music scores that they played music with on their instruments. And as they started to get more comfortable with it, then they started getting more comfortable with playing around with developing more games and more pieces of music. It has reached every kid, and that's what I like about the STEAM project is because it handles all disciplines, and they just dug right in. And, and I'd have to say that every single student is really interacting and wanting to learn and knows what they're talking about. I think that it really, uh, teachers and students both get very excited about this type of learning. It's a little bit out of the box. There's no definite answers. 
kids can create it their own way. It teaches a lot of flexibility and uh, just very exciting to see how these, this group of teachers here at Cathedral School took this project and just ran with it. Exciting work.